Okay guys, there's some very, very, very basic uh, need to know items about camouflage that every, every woodsman or beginning woodsman needs to know. Uh, some people call camouflage an art. Uh, most of the time it's a necessity and for hunting and whatever other reasons you might come about. But let me show you one way that uh, learning the basics of uh, camouflage is very practical in this point of view. Today I've decided to take a, an overnight canoe trip. I have parked my I dropped my canoe here. I left, took my truck to the drop uh, to the pickup point, jumped on my mountain bike, rode it back to the drop-off point or the put-in point. Well, the dilemma is two points. A, I leave my gear unattended when I'm taking uh, my vehicle to the pickup point, and B, when I ride my mountain bike back to the put-in point, I leave my mountain bike unattended overnight. So, the dilemma is some, your property could get stolen. So. Just to give you some tips on some camouflage that's very practical is rule number one, backlighting is paramount in just about anything. It doesn't matter where you're sniping, hunting, uh, or just concealing stuff. Backlighting is everything. And if you'll look, you'll see the difference, the transition in lighting. You'll see right over here, it's, it's a lighter area where light is coming in and hitting some grass. And then you'll see the transition to a higher ridge here. You can see it. And then the darker background. We're going to use that. And basically what we're going to do is I knew that I was going to be uh, dropping this bike and I knew I was going to leave it for a while so I brought an extra net. It's a good thing to keep in your truck or whatever just in case you have to leave your canoe someplace or whatever. I mean it, it works for uh, a multitude of reasons but it's, it's good to have some type of netting. Now this is just some uh, camouflage netting and I'm just going to use it to drape it over my bicycle and that's not that's not it but what that does that helps uh, break down the reflective particles and it reduces the amount of reflection that that bike that you can see with that bike set in there and then I'm gonna cut some brush and some sticks and stuff like that and then I'm gonna pile it up over it now the number one thing you need to understand is that you don't need to make a pile so big that it draws attention and it, it and it changes the the contours of your backlighting there so you want to keep your backlighting low. And uh, I'll give you a close-up of what this uh, uh, bike looks like before I start. And then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. And then I'll get the same frame as you see right now uh, where you can see my bike. It's about, I don't know, 10 yards behind me, maybe less. But let's get started. Now, I started out with two uh, because um, my canoe is uh, 12 foot, 11 foot, 9 inches. So I have two. So I don't want to carry this in my canoe and take it with me. I just won't need it. So I'm just going to uh, use both of them. Um, part of the uh, uh, drawbacks with using this system will be that if you're around any briars or any snags, it's going to snag on everything. Now, as you can see, this looks pretty good just as it is. And then when you add a few extras,
Okay, um, now that it's covered, you can see from basically the same angle as we started this video, that's good enough. If, you're, if you hide your bike or you hide your item 40, 50 yards off a main, main area, maybe a little farther, and then you do this, you're, you're going to be good to go. But there's some things I want to I want I want to suggest. Uh, your hardwoods leaves will stay um, more hardy longer, like your uh, oaks and your hickories. Um, they they provide a better camouflage. They, they the leaves don't tend to flip. Like if you'll look behind me, you will see a couple uh, areas in there where I'll have to tidy up before I leave. You'll see a white speck. Well, that means that a leaf is turned over, and if you got a person's walking through the woods, even even people that don't spend a lot of time in the woods, they're going to notice something different about that. They may check it out, and boom, there goes your property. But anyway, I'm Billy Poe. I hope that you've learned something from this video. I'm going to tidy this little pile up, uh, get those uh, whatever leaves uh, arranged that I need, and then I'm jumping on a river. I'm Billy Poe. I appreciate you watching the videos, and I hope you've learned something. See you on the next one.